It was the homecoming game here in College Park for Maryland football, and without starting quarterback Talia Tungavailoa, it was off to a rocky start. But once the Terps came back out for the second half, it was a different atmosphere. Roman Hemby rang in 181 yards and three touchdowns, leading the Terps to victory 31-24. Northwestern were the ones to capitalize in the first quarter with a touchdown after a struggling Terps effort couldn't keep up with the Wildcats' momentum. But the start of the second quarter looked more promising for the Terps with the Billy Edwards Jr. and Hemby duo sparking a touchdown. Even though Billy, we have the utmost confidence in him, is just doing our job at the end of the day. So uh, I feel like when he's clicking and I'm clicking, we're going to have success. When the wide receivers are clicking, we're going to have success. So it was just one of those things where I knew if I did my part, it was going to make his job easier. And if he did his part, it was going to make my job easier. The Wildcats didn't let that stop them. They put some more points up on the board, leaving the shell at halftime on top 17-10. to 10. Their confidence has grown because at halftime they came in and said, Coach, let's figure out the best runs and let's let's run the ball. We, I mean, these guys, we can knock them off the ball. And it created some confidence in there. And that confidence certainly started to shine through in the second half with another Hemby touchdown. And with her Kim Jarrett also adding a touchdown to end the third quarter. Uh, I feel like we, you know, just, you know, getting the swing of things and we kind of found our groove and we knew that running the ball was going to be uh, very important to getting the win. And, you know, it came through when we needed it the most down that uh, homecoming stretch. The Wildcats then clapped back with a touchdown of their own, but in came Hemby once again. This time with an electric 75-yard run to put the Terps on top. And Roman Hemby came through big, um, you know, big runs, big time plays. Uh, he showed exactly what we talk about, his ability to hit the home run. And, you know, it couldn't have happened at a better time for us. We needed it. After a bow braid interception, the Wildcats just couldn't come back after that. This game now makes the Terps bowl eligible, the earliest state in more than 20 years. Coming up, the Terps will have a bye week and then travel over to Madison, Wisconsin to face off against the Badgers, where they will look to become 7-2. For Terrapin Sports Central from CQ Stadium, I'm Kira Bruno.